So today we got a big day. We have, we've had one up talk before, yep. and that was with Doug Winnie, yes. right? And we're gonna do an up talk today with Michelle Peavy. So tell us a little bit about the person that we're gonna talk to today. She is an inspirational speaker, motivator, mentor, salsa dancer, and a singer of the national anthem for the NBA Houston Rockets, which I thought was really wow. cool. Uh, I know. Right. So she definitely is captivating to listen to you guys. Uh, she is a producer of her CD called My Voice, um, online, Get Off Your Ask, e-course, and her book, The Free Way of Life. Which I have a copy right here. Oh, yeah, here. Thank you. Thank you, Nolan. Be the Anna White. Be the Anna White. Get practicing. Get practicing there. Um, and her latest accomplishment is hosting workshops and consulting privately with individuals and corporations um, on how to ask and then using LinkedIn to increase the visibility and connections. So this is why she's out here, and we're very, very honored to have her come out and speak to you guys here. So I'd love to introduce Michelle Levy. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Mich Michelle Levy. So let me take a quick survey. Um, Desiree asked a question, how many people have a LinkedIn profile here? A LinkedIn profile, put your hand up. Almost everybody, maybe not everybody, but that's okay, we can make that happen. It's so simple. How many, keep your hands up. How many people use LinkedIn for their work? How many people are using LinkedIn to find a job? The, the work people, how many people make money and have made money using LinkedIn as a tool in their business. And this is what happens. It's a very, very small percentage. Thank you for sharing. So I make a six-figure income using LinkedIn as my tool. So I'm going to show you today, in a condensed version, some tips and some areas of what you need to know. So we're at the, the beginning of the personal training session. We have to assess, right? I have to know where you're at as general, general, and then individually, when I work with my clients, I assess them even further, and then we go in, and we start the workout. And so again, the repetition, coming back, doing again, and practicing, that's how I became good at LinkedIn. I'm not trained in anything with LinkedIn. I'm just an expert user. I use it eight hours a day. And I, I'm learning still myself, because there's so many things that are going on with LinkedIn today because of after even the Microsoft ac acquisition. So I'm like, whoa, I didn't know that that was there. So there's so many great things, and the only way you discover is by actually doing it, and which is what my choreographer tells me in salsa. He's like, don't, I said, well, I just want to watch you, and he's like, don't watch, you need to do it. Yeah, but what if I don't, can't do it? You just need to do it, and then do it again. So this is the exact same thing. So we'll just go to the next slide. All right, so I'm just gonna, so how many people had a conversation with me before I started speaking today? I, this morning, you had some conversations with me. And I'm just curious, did you notice that I asked you a lot of questions? Did you notice that? And then you're probably, I don't know from a place of listening, most people say to me, why do you ask me all this question? You're thinking that, but you don't say it out loud to me. Wow, she's pretty nosy. <laughs> That's what happens. But did you know that the area of questions and curiosity is what gets you answers? That's how you're able, and especially in a place of networking, I ask more questions, I ask more questions because my ultimate idea is to know exactly what is it that you need in order so I can help you. But I keep asking and I keep asking because I'm not getting enough information in specific keywords. So let me tell you what ASK stands for and it's an acronym. And it's the same thing, I want you to go back to the gym and the personal trainer. A stands for, and anything to happen in your life is action or activity. It has to come from you. And I hear a lot of people say, I have a LinkedIn profile, and yeah, I got a picture, and I just, you know, I don't know, it's just there. Because we live in a world of, especially in the millennials right now, and I'm not gonna down disrespect any millennials here in the room, we just live in a place of a world of expectation, and they're gonna come and find us. Because I have a LinkedIn profile now. No. That's not what I do as a headhunter. I go out and I create action every day. I go after people that are matching up some of the things that I'm looking for, and I try to get some communication and dialogue going to get, it, get a result. So A is action and activity. S is say it out loud, speak it. Don't think it, speak it. Because I know the people that I was talking to here in the room today before we did this, I know that you were thinking that. Wow, you ask a lot of questions, girl. But I want to know, I'm pulling it out so that I can help you. That's my intention. And K means keep it moving. 
So it's the practice, the repetition, keep it going. So always remind yourself of that. Again, you're not gonna remember everything in here today, but remember something that's on this, on this slide. I want you actually to write down this website called fearbuster.com. This is a, a guy, I can't say his name, he's Asian from Austin. Um, if you go to his website, it's Jing Jang or something like that. He was on TED Talk. And he talked about actually the 100 day rejection challenge. You can watch the video, but just an example of what that video talks about is the area of rejection. He put it out to himself and he said, for 100 days, I am gonna go and ask for really, really crazy things with no expectation of knowing if the answer is yes or no. I'm just gonna do it, right? So what happened was, for example, he dressed up in a soccer uniform and he knocked on a stranger's door. This is true story. And he knocked on the door and he said, hi, can I play soccer in your backyard? And the guy said, yes. <laughs> and he played soccer. So then he said to the guy, you know, I wanted to know, why did you say yes? And he said, because you're dressed the part. You look like the part. Or actually, he went to Dunkin' Donuts and he asked them to make five donuts in the shape of the Olympic rings with the colors of icing, the same color of the Olympic rings. They did it for him. They brought the baker out. The baker did it. And then he said, how much do I owe you? And he said, nothing. Just take it. So did you know that experiences happen? If you go into just asking for what you want and saying, you know what? I don't care if the answer is yes or no, but that's what I want. I'm going to ask for it. That's what happened, and I, I specifically, if you go look at my table afterwards, there's a pair of shoes on there, and people are going, why does she have her shoes on my table? I made those shoes. I have no clue how to make shoes. But somebody, I asked about it, and I said, I want to do that. I actually had a shoe party, and they taught us, and I ha bought somebody in who knows how to do that. So then you got to go find the expert that knows how to do that, that can help you. Right? Other people's ideas, yeah? So just ask for it with no assumption or expectation of yes or no. Just ask and let it happen. So don't get your place in a rejection. If you're scared, get up and say it anyways. Do it. Yeah? Okay, we'll go to the next. All right, so Microsoft acquired LinkedIn for $26.2 billion in June of 2016. They're in the final stages of the final acquisition and the changes. So would you not agree that Microsoft is probably going to put some pretty powerful things into LinkedIn? It's already happening. I've seen some things. I'm like, oh, wow. Um, adding, so here's, a, here's an interesting thing, and you had mentioned it, and we talked about this actually in the meeting a month ago. Did you know that adding a professional photo to your profile makes you 36 more times more likely to receive a message and 14 times increase that you will be found? We'll talk a little bit more about your photo on LinkedIn. 44% of females use LinkedIn, 56% of males are LinkedIn users. Average time, check this out, this blows my mind because I use LinkedIn probably eight to 10 hours a day. Average time a user spends using LinkedIn monthly is monthly 17 minutes. If I am a performer in salsa and I practice 17 minutes out of one month, do you think that I am going to have a good show? No. Yeah. No, I'm not a natural in salsa, I promise you. <laughs> I have to practice. Um, in order to get really visible, how many people have, I'm just curious, under 100 connections on their LinkedIn profile or you've looked and you don't know? Yeah, you need to check that because that's, that's where the visibility and connection increase for you. How many people, I know Susan, you know, and Terry, you know, because we talk about that. How many people are over 200, connect, uh, 200 to 300 connections? How many people are 300 to 400 connections? How many people are 500 plus? How many people are 5,000 plus? There is such a thing. Are you a lion? So what a lion is on LinkedIn, if you have 5,000 plus connections on your LinkedIn profile, your word is called a lion, which means you're open and you receive everybody's connections. I'm not a lion yet, I have 3,500, but I have probably about 1,200 that I haven't received yet. It's, it's on the corner. When you log into your LinkedIn, LinkedIn profile, if you look into the corner of the box, just in that area of where your name is and look down, it'll tell you the number of connections that are sitting right there. So I'm going to say this. In order to get really some, get some increase in some visibility and connections, you want to get to 300 plus. And when I work with my clients, I teach you how to do that. And 500 plus and 5,000 plus. So here's what I'm going to say. Remember I talked about in the beginning, 
you have eight seconds to catch somebody's attention. After that, you lose them. It's the same thing in your LinkedIn profile when people are searching and they're scanning. I get over 300 resumes, 400, 500 resumes sometimes a day. I just don't have time to go through everything. But when I'm going through it, I need to immediately see exactly when I'm going. I go to their LinkedIn profile. I immediately have to see something that's going to catch my attention, which are called keywords. Keywords, your, your photo, and your summary. Because when you scroll, what happens, I'm going to tell you right now, when I review resumes, I do not read the whole resume. I scan and I look, and if it's not there, I move on. So the LinkedIn profile is the same way, and everybody stops right underneath your summary when they're looking on your profile. And if they don't see everything that they need, they move on. So adding a professional photo to your profile makes you 36 times increase on receiving a message. And uh, you'd be surprised how many, I, re I specialize in recruiting executives and how many don't. But I'm like, that's a great headshot. Or even the young millennials, some of them don't know how to take the pictures. And I go, oh my goodness, why did they take that picture? They don't represent themselves well. That's kind of the conversation I'm having with myself. So here's a website. If you really want to know what people think about your picture, there's a website called photofeeler.com. You can take any picture. Now, what you've got to do, if people put their pictures out there, you can actually they give you a set of questions to ask what you think of the question uh, of their photo. If you rate their, maybe I think 20 photos, they'll give you 10 credits to put your photo out there and people will do the same thing with yours. I've done it with mine and I put the, sh the headshot that you saw at the beginning as my preferred headshot, even though it doesn't really describe who I am because I'm jazzy, sassy, and classy. And, but it's a professional headshot. You go to my, my Facebook page, you'll see something complete. So I took some of the fun pictures and it's interesting what people thought. So if you really want to know what a neutral audience thinks of your picture, I suggest, and it's free, so go there. All right, here's the key thing about when we talked about I want and we got into a little bit of conversation in the beginning about some of the things you want and then we changed it from but to and and we got a little bit more specific. You can always tell when I mark my, 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 the people that I've worked with because you'll see right underneath their name in their LinkedIn profile, most people stay in a static title engineering manager, P, P, uh, professional engineer, uh, PMP, CIT, ABA, in their headline. CEO, um, business consultant. Okay, so what I'm gonna tell you about LinkedIn is not a right or wrong. It is what works and has worked for me and what I teach you to do how to do that. So this is a matter of opinion. You can take it as you want Totally up to you, but I'm telling you it works. I teach you to move that out because we live in a world, and I am a recruiter, executive recruiter. We live in the world of title. We live in the world of pedigree, education, right? So yes, can that get you something? Maybe, yeah, sometimes. But does it really get you what you want? So if you go to my LinkedIn profile or Susan's profile or Terry's profile, or my husband's profile, I made him do it too. You actually put out a statement of what you want, I want to connect with, I, I'm looking to collaborate with, I'm looking to whatever, and get specific about what it is you want. So the words that you just told me, usually when we work together, I say let's condense that and let's put that in your headline right underneath your name and your LinkedIn profile so you get that. For example, Nolan wants to connect with 300 plus business owners to break the Guinness record in business interviews through his social media feed. Is that what you want? Right, so if he put that, that's what you're looking to connect with, you put it in writing. Terry and I went through this yesterday and she goes, I don't know if I wanna put that down there. I said, but let me tell you, once you think it, you ink it, you write it, then it, in LinkedIn, then it makes you go and find it. I've had people, for example, I am looking to hire a VP of sales and operations in online digital advertising and marketing that live in Dallas, Texas. Do you know how many messages I get through my connections saying, I know somebody, you need to connect with this person. But if it just said recruiter, there's no creation of activity that goes on in there. So think about some of the things. So Becky could, might want to put in her LinkedIn profile, looking to connect with parents who are, um, you know, we could get in more conversation, looking to, uh, who want to excel 
um, or looking for a tutor to excel, learning disabilities or something like that in, and get specific about your geographic region in the woodlands, in Houston, Texas. Some people say, well, I'm global. Start with your backyard. Because the backyard, there's lots that can take you global, right? Susan is, I am looking. We talked about that. She said, well, we're opening up Columbia with my business. And I said, well, then that's what you're looking for. When are you opening in Columbia? And you said, I think January? January. And I said, so that's an immediate ask. You can only ask for one thing at one time. So the ask statement, I teach you about that. We have the conversation, and then I help condense it, and I put it actually in your ask statement or headline statement right underneath your name, which puts you into action and helps you go find it. So there is a high impact. You've got to remember, LinkedIn is proven. It's a human data analytics tool. And it is proven everything is based on specific words that are in your profile. Because when someone like me who is searching for somebody that is you and those words are not in there, I can't find you. <laughs> All right. So here's, here's the magic right here. This is the most important area to write your commercial, to write the ingredients of who you are, your achievements, your results, what your specialties are, what you're an expert in, and what you help people do. I spend a lot of time with my clients in this space right here. They can tell me and verbalize what it is that they're special at, but they can't get it in there for some reason. So I help break it down. And like I said, we get into this, and you need I help you kind of get more into the specific keywords, because again, keyword searches. And again, remember I said, people stop right underneath your summary when they're searching, and that's what they look at. So you have 2,000 characters, actually, to fill in your summary in your LinkedIn profile to not just brag about yourself, but you're talking about what you help other people do. Now, I will say something really, really quickly. And if you want to have this conversation, I had a conversation with a, uh, a young lady in here about ProFinder. Who was that? About the freelance consulting, the learning organizational development lady. There we go. What's your name again? OK. So there is an area, actually, that if you have a paid monthly subscription in your LinkedIn profile, I'm giving you a lot of information today that I'm saying this feeds kind of with your summary about the words that you use. If you are a solopreneur, freelance consultant, um, work for yourself, you have to use those keywords. And there's a section when you have a premium paid subscription in LinkedIn that's called ProFinder. And ProFinder is a tool that actually lets you kind of market yourself as a freelance consultant or solopreneur in your specific area that you specialize in. And what it does is me on the other side, I'm looking for a learning and organizational development professional to help me write a learning management uh, course. I write that out in ProFinder. And then all the people in, in Houston, Texas, and then it pops up, all the people who do that, and it says, Michelle Peavy wants a quote for what you do. The quote is sent back to me from all the people, and I get to choose who I do business with. It is a, a lead ma it's another area of putting leads into your inbox. But if you join ProFinder, they teach you how to write your profile, and those are some of the keywords. You have to have keywords to say that you're a freelance consultant, solopreneur, you work for yourself, and it is a really great tool. So if you're going to pay, like I pay $99 for the monthly subscription of premium because of all the work I do on LinkedIn, you can start with the basic of $29.99. If you are a solopreneur and you work for yourself, I'm going to tell you right now, shame on you if you have a free account. You need to have a paid monthly subscription, at least for $29.99 a month. That is $360 a year. There is a huge return on your investment if you get even one client off of LinkedIn. Yeah? All right. All right ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Ms. Michelle. Do you want me to stick here? Yeah, I, I do, actually. I, I want you to get the microphone again. I want to ask you a couple of questions before you go. OK, so you hold it and then ask me and I answer? Okay, no, okay. no, I, I have my mic. Okay. I'm already mic'd up. He does that to me all the time. Remind right. me to come and get my book. OK, all right. <laughs> all right, so, so great information. Um, got everybody out here thinking about their ask, right, with the K, I don't, with the K at the end, right? <laughs> so thinking about their ask, what, how did you come across finding that this information that you're giving works? So the LinkedIn information or the ask information? The LinkedIn information with the ask and the stuff that you do, right? Well, it's taken years of life okay. experience. Okay. And you know, I started some programs, and then they just evolved. And what I will say this, you know, to the people that are watching out there and listening, 
listen to your audience mm -hmm. and listen to the people because sometimes how you view yourself and then how other people view you, people will tell you what they need. So I just started to tweak it. I was I was doing workshops and then they get off your ask and I would go look at other speakers or I'd follow influencers and I just started to develop this program. So it's just something that I put together and it was all trial and error and I just went out there and I started to do it. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. All right, so how many of these a year or a month do you do? Can or Do you have like a tour that we can get and we can say, hey, we're in Dallas, I was with you in the woodlands and all that good right. stuff. Do you have some of that well, going? Well, I've done that. I, I have some coming up right now. It's the end of the year. So I'm choosing to stay in my backyard yard in Houston and give my Houston people the attention that they need. Okay. And, you know, I go out across Canada. I speak a lot. Um, I ask corporations ask me to come out and, you know, work with them. And I will, I'll put a big ask out, actually, to the people out there that if you're listening or the people here in the room. Okay. Is I want to speak in front of 5,000 women in Dubai, and I want to teach them how to ask. When you say 5,000, because I, I have something to where I want to do 5,000 yeah. people at once as well. Yeah. So when you say it, I step back like, girl, shut up, right? Yeah. So, okay, all right, all right. So that's a big ask. Yeah. And why Dubai? I've always wanted to go to Dubai, and I've always wanted because the women in the Eastern Hemisphere and the women in the Western Hemisphere, their approach and their approach is very different. Sure. And the Eastern Hemisphere is trying to, is catching up right now, and they're learning how to get more powerful with their voice. But what if I could go out there and teach them a little bit more about getting specific about the power of asking? Boom. Yeah. Right. To magnify yeah. it. All yeah. right. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, give it up for Miss Michelle. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I want to thank Microsoft for having us here. I want to thank Michelle for coming out, doing the, yes. up, uh, the up talk. Yes. Do you have any thanks? Uh, thank you guys for showing up. And thank you guys for showing up. Until next time, love to live, live to love, and be well.